Hey guys, today we're talking about the fundamentals of a magazine change. First thing I want to talk about here is making sure your gear is set up properly and more importantly the same way each and every time. If your magazine pouch is held in one particular position today, somewhere else tomorrow, there's no consistency there. So you want to make sure your gear is set up properly, but more importantly, again, the same way each and every time. So I'm going to make sure that the bolts are always down and downrange. If I'm going to carry a handgun, I'm also going to carry a spare magazine. So it's just as important to draw that magazine as it is to draw the pistol. And you should practice both in dry fire. Next thing you're going to notice is that I have an adjustable rake. So depending on where that magazine is actually placed on my body, I'm going to set it up in a conducive angle to make sure I'm getting two points of contact with my support hand. First point of contact is going to be that meaty portion of my palm on the base plate of the magazine. Second point of contact is going to be the index finger of my non-firing hand along the front strap of the magazine. And the remaining fingers are just going to kind of wrap around like so. Now what this does for me, it does a couple of things. Number one, it gives me a point of reference to get into that magazine like we just talked about. But also, once I take that magazine out of the pouch and I'm going up and toward that magazine well, if I bump it, if I bump the magazine well for any reason, I'm going to have some sort of rigidness there that's going to keep the magazine in place. Rather than if I was to hold it like this and I bump that magazine, it can easily fall out of my hand, causing me to lose valuable seconds or possibly my life as well. So making sure that that magazine is set up the same way each and every time is absolutely critical. Now let's talk about the actual reload itself. Once I'm on target, and this would be more of a speed reload. Once I'm on target and I deem it's time to reload, the first thing I want to do is take my finger off the trigger. Gun ranges are getting shut down all across America by keeping your finger on the trigger and inadvertently activating the trigger while doing a magazine change and that round is leaving the berm and leaving that range. Next, simultaneously as I'm going for the fresh magazine, I'm going to activate that magazine release. And I'm flipping the gun into my hand so I can reach that button. Immediately I'm going to flip the pistol back into my normal shooting grip as that next magazine is coming up and toward the pistol. Now you notice that the angle of the pistol is conducive to the angle of the magazine coming up toward that magazine well. All while keeping my peripheral vision down range. So I'm looking and I'm actually focusing on the inside of that magazine well, but my situational awareness is still down range. Once I see those first two or three rounds go in, my fingers come off the magazine and I'm solely relying on my palm to insert the magazine the rest of the way. At that point, the work is done. And now my eyes shift back down range as I insert, roll back into my normal shooting grip, and then extend the pistol straight toward the downrange area, acquiring my sight picture once again. The common mistake shooters make when doing a reload is really just trying to go too fast. You want to make sure that you're smooth and the techniques are correct. And you're going to learn that through dry fire. Also we're looking for, I'm making sure that I have proper discipline once I'm done the magazine change to reacquire my sight picture rather than just throwing the pistol out there and trying to get a fast time and not acquiring that sight picture down range and missing the shot or having a poor shot as well as follow through that's probably the biggest common mistake I see shooters make is on that second shot or whatever shot it might be just before the reload so just before the reload maybe their hands begin to break toward that magazine release and toward the fresh magazine as you're activating the trigger so at some point your brain tells you I know it's time to reload and because it's whatever the case might be in a competition or in a stressful situation maybe it's time to load so that first shot goes off and the second shot goes off as you're going for that fresh magazine just ever so slightly your wrist begin to break toward that next act and once you go toward that next act the gun comes down the muzzle of the pistol goes up and it's very easy to miss over the top of the target Now you notice that time is exactly what I just talked about, about a common error and a common mistake. First shot hit dead center, second shot was a miss as I was going to commit the next act. I was trying to do two things at once and obviously I had a poor shot because of it. After the magazine change, I didn't have the visual patience or the discipline to wait for that sight to get back into the center of the target and that's why I barely hit the next shot. And then of course my follow-up shot went toward the center of that target after that. So remember, the follow-through as well as that visual patience and discipline after the reload is going to be key to having a perfect reload. First point of contact is going to be that meaty portion of my palm on the base. Hey, I'm Max Michelle, and I'm on Gun District. Why aren't you?